justifiably so. When you don't do that, you leave room for people to speculate. And they say that the old people are back to their tricks once again by just telling people any amount and then you're forced to swallow they it. They never stopped. They never stopped. And that's what you're telling people. By not telling people that actually, you know what, these are where we got these ambulances from. One, two, three. These are the exact number of people that we ferried from point A to point B. And then you ask, do you really want us to get down to the detail? And we say, yes. absolutely yes. We do. Because you got down to the detail when you were asking for this money from the World Bank. When the World Bank then presented this money to you, you opened your hands and said, thank you very much. Now, at least we can go three, four steps in front and fight COVID. Now, when it comes to how it was spent, one month didn't finish and the money has already been used. The money has been used. It has been used completely. In some cases, the budget lines have been overshot, been overspent. And then you don't want to tell Kenyans how you spent the money. You don't want to justify every single shilling. Where anything should be justified, it should be here. Where the whole country is looking at you and saying, this thing has affected all all of us, from the macro to the micro level, it has affected us. So every shilling spent is very, very important. Are we receiving value? And the shilling that you have spent, has it helped in fighting this war? Has it really helped in making sure that we've made some gains? If you're not able to give details on how the money was spent, then you leave people in limbo. You leave people with a vacuum whereby they'll be able to speculate and they'll point their fingers back at you and say, actually, you know what? Here, COVID has presented another opportunity for you to steal money that could actually help Kenyans, for you to steal money that actually could boost the economy. And that is a big problem. And if we don't get out of this thing, it's going to continue getting us down, 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 going further down this spiral. This is another example of how impunity reigns, unfortunately. Can I make that assumption? I absolutely can. Because you didn't give the details. And they say the devil is in the details.